always remember, keep the Lord first, keep your mind God bless, God bless, let's do this. y'all welcome back to rev big john's backyard fishing we are out on lake Roland today man this is one of rob's spots and uh you know we're gonna see what it produces i've never been here before so i don't have a clue about it i know it was hard to get the kayak in um y'all if y'all know me if you don't i'm i'm, I'm a real minimalist <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to go through too much to get stuff into the water I had to get help to get into the water because my wheels kept coming off because it was a little rough terrain there. But anyway, that's just me. I like things simple. <laughs> anyway, man, first uh, time out on the water. So giving on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ without him, none of these things are possible. We're going to see if we can't get on today. Nice looking lake, not too big to navigate. So we're going to check it out. So won't y'all come along. Come along and ride with me on a fantastic voyage. See if we can't find some fish today. That would be ideal. I ain't gonna front y'all. I'm gonna start with the Tic Tac. I'm gonna start with the Tic Tac today. Play around this lay down up here. Just see. We'll start with the outside of it, then work our way to the inside. I don't know why Rob left this spot right open. I, I think I would have came here first. Wind trying to push me away. It's a gentle wind today. I suppose it'd be about 10 miles an hour. There's some gusts up to 19. That's all doable. Nothing is hit on the outside, so we're gonna move to the middle. I feel like MLF, I have no idea. What this lake is about. So this is all exploration. As I said before, my Tic Tac, it just, it, it, uh, it imitates a little bait fish darting about. All right, let's move a little closer. This is the eight foot rain, so. Let's just tap in a tad bit closer. You know you're close when you scare the turtles off of their perches. <laughs> there they go. I go one and say, hey man, I ain't scared of you. I ain't scared. You'll be scared in a second, watch. Uh-oh. He said, I'm from Baltimore, player. <laughs> don't don't go now because my, my, my lord coming that way. Look at him, he hanging, ain't he? You ain't said nothing but a word. Man, come on now. You in my territory. Alright? I'm leaving right now. But I'm gonna sneak up behind you, man. And then I'm gonna bite you. And I think, look, 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 we got him. Got him. Didn't I tell you? Got him. Came, came out and got it. Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, we on. Turtle called him up for me. Along with that Tic Tac. Tic Tac said, I'm, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, man. We gonna work for you. All right, chill out, chill out. If you chill out, I promise I'm gonna let you go. There you go. Nice little fish. Probably one and, one and three quarters. It may, may push down. I see one and three quarters. Anyway, beautiful specimen. Beautiful specimen. Thank you, sir.
Well, I mean, it's a lay down, man. I was wondering why you skipped it. Okay. I didn't skip it. Oh, I was like, I don't know why he left this one open. Oh, no, no. But this is the oddball one. This one sticks out further. You always look for that thing that's different in the contour. It's all good, though. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, was, I, was, I was getting around to it. All right, so I keep having issues with my file having to be repaired on my eight. I had to switch over to my GoPro 9 because my 8 is acting up. Might be the data file. Oops. Because uh, it keeps having to repair the file and cutting off. So we switched over to the 9. Man, this world is 58 degrees. How is that possible? Thank you, sir. All right. Got little ones nibbling. Like I said, the where there's a little one, there's always a big one. Just getting them to hit. That's the story. Oh man, really? Did I catch that daggone turtle? Please don't move, turtle. Hmm. Yeah, I got the back of his shell. Here's what you don't do, ladies and gentlemen. Is he gonna move? Oh, he, he moved the right way. <laughs> oh, man. You don't know. How you do over there? Uh, I got four, but two little two little dinks and a one pounder, and then the one you saw. We gonna change. We gonna put a creature bait on here. Put a little more tentacle, a little more tentacle action right now. This is what it is. Still not where I think it need to be. You somebody was sitting there. I knew it, man. They just were not going to hit it. player I was just being hard yeah, one thing about a treble hook it barely has them <sighs> ain't the biggest in the bunch but it's a fish thank you sir I'll let that one actually pause on the top How you do? Zero? He was back there for a minute. I thought you was hitting him. No. I was constantly getting snagged. Oh. There's trees and stuff over there and I'm breaking off. I was a little high mess. Trains and all. They were very lucky at home. Probably. But all right. There's a guy back. Like some big old cop right in front of me. These cops look like prehistoric monsters. This 
Brush hog ain't working today. As I say that, something hits it. It's not a big one, but it's a hit. Chill out. Thank you, sir. That's what I've been looking for. Hmm, brush hog. What, what was I saying about brush hog ain't working? I need y'all to see this hook. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> it was on the corner there. You see that? Um, did y'all? This is where it was. Do y'all see that? I, I don't even know if y'all see. This is where it was. Just the pressure. One more cup of jumps, and I'm fumbling to get the net. He gone. Look at that. Oh, that's definitely two and a half to almost two and three quarters right there two three quarters two and three quarters to three we're gonna weigh this one though we're gonna see if i know what i'm talking about rob had to bring me his gear i changed my bags i don't have mine so let's see how this works two eight two and a half i knew that i, knew I heard you giggle i'm like yeah he got a good one this time <laughs> yeah Cause I was like, yo, finally, he bit it and it wasn't just a little one taking that little peck. Uh, I finally got on the board two in a row. I mean, almost like back to back. Oh, good, sweet. One day when you feel adventurous. Not when I feel adventurous, oh Lord. No. You mean walking? No. Oh, I ain't never seen. No, the water gets really, really shy. I'm talking to the point where you almost have to pull it. Okay. You want another one? Yeah, just to make sure. Okay. Come on, girl. Come on back. I ain't had you out that long. As soon as she show me some spunk, I'll let her go. Thank you, man. As always, you know, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming to see me. Ain't that bad hat though. Still took an arm and a leg to get in here though. Let's get back to fishing. <laughs> Y'all see I was all over the place on that one. Couldn't grab bad thing was barely hooked, man. I'm telling y'all. She had one more good jump. <laughs> I'd have been crying. <sighs> when I saw where that hook was. <sighs> Eight pound test, baby. Got him. Ah, oh, took too long. Y'all know I'm on this brush hog now, so I'm gonna keep working this brush hog. Just like I work my Tic Tac. But while I'm fishing, let me talk to you. I wanna talk to you about burning spots. You know, this social media be going crazy, man. Folks be going in on one another about a spot. And everybody talking about, man, you don't want to tell them where that is, or you don't want to tell them where that is. And I 
and I see pictures all blotted out, you know, just showing the fish, cause they don't want nobody to know where that spot is. Let me tell y'all something, man. Somebody always knows where your spot is. Unless it's a private pond somewhere, trust me, they know. So, ain't, ain't nothing to hide, ain't nothing to burn. And not to mention, even if somebody tell you where a spot is, you still gotta catch the fish. <laughs> you can know where a spot is that can be loaded and you still ain't catching them. Then what's the story? You know, so, man, relax, y'all. We in this community together. You know, you can help somebody find a spot or you can help somebody to get on. Help them get on. You know, it only make the sport better. It only make the, the community more friendlier. You know, stop tripping over spots. This is all God spots, last time I checked. You know, and so like I said, you can find a spot. Somebody already knows where that spot is, I promise you. You know, so just relax, man. It's going to be all right, I promise you. Ain't nobody getting paid out here for this. And when they are getting paid, they out there on a, a body of water that's completely wide open that everybody knows about. So just relax. That's all I got to say, man. Stop. Because you know what? Wait, wait a minute. Let me say this too. Because the first thing somebody else said, and I'll put this in conjunction, burn the spot and catch and release. Look, if a state has a legal limit of a bag, how many you can keep, and them people decide to keep that, them fish, then they got every right to keep them. They caught them. You know? I primarily catch and release, especially when it comes to bass. You know, other fish, when I'm in the eating mood, I'm going to keep them. You know, sometimes I keep bass. Especially if I, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a place asks me to, uh, to harvest a few because they overrun by bass. Or if I had a hard day, man, and I just want to fish salmon after it's all over, I'll keep a bass. But a lot of y'all crying about uh, catch and release, and yet y'all treat the bass terrible. You know, dragging them through the ground all over the place and, you know, not paying attention to, to making sure it's slime coat is good. There's a lot of stuff going on. So if you want to do all that stuff, then you might as well keep them. Because that fish is as good as dead nine times out of ten. So stop tripping off of a burn spot because ain't no such thing to me as a burn spot. You may disagree with me. Let me know in the comments what you think. You know, people think, ah, oh, man, it don't fish no more. Trust me. I believe there's more fish in that body of water than you can even imagine. And just like when it comes down to black water and the snakeheads, people done poured out thousands of snakeheads from that spot. And them snakeheads still keep coming out of there. You know, and if you commercial fishing, man, yeah, you can outfish, you can fish a place out. But if you, you know, you recreational fishing, you have not fished this place out, man. I'm sorry. You know, for those who keep the big ones, hey, I would like to say, let the big ones swim. Let them live, you know. If I keep one, it's in the 12 to 15 range, you know. But let the big ones swim. But as long as they legal to catch at the time you catch it and you keep it, I don't have no problem with you, man. If anybody want to know, you know, where I fish, I'll let you know where I fish. We on Lake Roller today. You know, so get out here. Bring your stuff and tight lines to you, man. Hopefully you'll get some. I mean, look, we on the same body of water. You know, I've caught, I don't know, five, six fish. I can't, I don't know. And Rob struggled. He probably got his two. He got two on, probably got some more by now. But it is what it is. We in the same spot. We be throwing different things. Fish want different stuff. You just got to figure out what they want, man. All right? So that's it. That's all I got. Let me get back to fishing. Man, they little. They nibbling. Don't nibble. When they say don't chew with your mouth open, close your mouth. Close your mouth, man. Close your mouth. Close your mouth, dog. Close your mouth and get that thing in there. <clears throat> this is where the power pole would be so wonderful because we in about two feet of water look at these little fish 
little teeny tiny bass. Oh, big old snapping turtle. Maybe that's what it was. I'll be just barely hooked, but you're hooked nonetheless. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Lord. You know what time it is. <laughs> time for me to get off this here water, man. So why don't I just kick my theme song? <laughs> this red big John. Always remember to keep the Lord first and keep the lines tight. God bless. I'll see you next time on the water. What's up, fam? Is a little after the show conversation or a little bit of post report. Uh, first time out on uh, Lake Rolling. Uh, it's a pretty nice lake, man. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie about that. I, I had a good time. We, you know, caught a bunch of fish. I would love to go back, man. But let me just say this: as it relates to Lake Rolling, uh, it is not big kayak friendly. Uh, the ramp, there is no ramp. A uh, dirt, dirt, a <laughs> dirt path broken down, uneven. So if you want to fish it, let me just say, if you got a big boy kayak, I ain't talking about one you can just sling on your shoulder and come over there. Um, it's going to be challenging, man. You got to definitely have your wheels. You got to be strapped on. If it wasn't for Rob helping me out, man, I probably would have turned back around, man, because that uh, to go down, it was just ridiculous, man. So once you get on the water, everything is fine. It's just getting off the water and getting on the water. So but you know uh still a nice lake all in all if you want to get out there and catch some fish 
check out Lake Rolling, man. Don't let me stop you from doing it, but um, it's out there in Towson, Maryland. And uh, yeah, man, go have some fun. But just know you're going to work to get your kayak in and you're going to work to get it out. God bless. I'll see y'all next time.